Welcome to the Urban Farm, the home of Uli and me, our two dogs, 11 chicken, 5 sheep, 2 lambs, 3 turkeys and a wonderful garden. As many of you have to stay inside at the moment, we thought it would be fun to open up our garden like this for you and take you on little trips through our garden, show you what we do, show what you maybe can copy in your house, your balcony, your garden, so together we can enjoy nature and the wonderful spring season. Welcome. Today I'd like to show you the Urban Farm Bouquet. On our website you have the option if you are living close to Amsterdam to order the Urban Farm Bouquet. If you have your own garden you don't need to order the bouquet. But maybe you'd like to see how we do it to understand a little bit more about the idea. The Urban Farm Bouquet is a bouquet that we pick in our garden so it will change all the time because we never, I mean not never but very often will not have the same ingredients but we thought it would be very nice if you live close to Amsterdam to get a bouquet that is grown 20 minutes away from the city center only using natural items and always will be having a big variety of different things. In the spring version we have some branches of the pear tree we had to cut our orchard, so when you cut the trees there will be some branches with nice buds. We have some homegrown daffodils in different varieties. We have three different types of helleboros, a winter flowering plant that now kind of like is out of bloom but then the flowers last longer and are very special. We have some kale shoots, fritillaria, nearly black. We have some muscari, grape hyacinths. We have some real hyacinths. And we have some skimmia and from the skimmia we take away the leaves because they are not that pretty but the nice thing about the skimmia again is the scent so this bouquet will bring some wonderful spring scent to your house so how do we start we take a branch that will be the middle of our bouquet we take the kale shoots and then you just add how you like things to be into your bouquet. And what you then try to do if you want to do it really professional way that you put your flowers in a spiral way so that way by binding it you will not squish your stems. Now and then we add again another piece of pear tree so the very big branchy pieces but they also make it, I think, very nice that you have the combination of the soft spring-like flower stems and then the woody kind of thick pear branches. This is Helleborus furtidus. It's actually a wild type of Helleborus you can sometimes find in woods, but you can buy it also at your perennial growers. You can plant it in your garden, sort of the most early flowering plants. And it's very nice also for the early flying insects. So they can find some nectar in your garden. You see I turn it quite often so I can see it from all the sides. Adding now different helleboros on this side. Adding some more hyacinth, a little bit more of the skimia. Then I have this wonderful narcissi that is allowed to jump out a little bit out of my bouquet. And the group, these other two ones close to it. So we have like a little group of narcissi. And then I have a fantastic leaf of the Swiss chard with a really bright red vein. Actually, it's a vegetable, but why not add a few vegetables to your bouquet? You see already it's getting a little bit more difficult to hold, but again, then it is more easy if you have the spiral shape because that way stems also hold on to it a little bit more easy. And I will finish it off with some grape hyacinths that I also will work in a little cluster into the bouquet. hyacinth adding another branch here to hold it all together then I have already here a piece of thread so I can bind it all together and an 
urban farm bouquet is finished. Now, if you think it's nice and you order it, it can be completely different because it will be changing with the daily situation in our garden. It will be changing with what is available, what is in flower, and it will always be a surprise. I think it will always be a nice surprise because it will also it will be very natural and um, you can enjoy at home a really nice piece of nature in your house. Make sure that you don't do it like me with a scissor, but use a knife to recut the stems. Take a little vase. I hope my vase is big enough for my bouquet. It became quite thick with all the stems. And you can put a little perfect piece of right now, right here, outgrown in the north of Amsterdam bouquet on your table at home. Have fun! Hopefully you enjoyed the films as much as we did doing them. If you have some ideas, some questions, things you would like us to do or to let you see, please let us know. If you have a garden, and you want some of our work done at your place, reach out to us. If you just enjoy by watching, that's all that matters. Thank you so much and hope to see you again.